Okay, this is Game Room version 2.0. Uh, it's in a whole nother place, so a whole nother setup for a whole nother reasons. Uh, the first edition you'll see is now I have three computer monitors. Uh, I had to buy a active display port to HDMI adapter to get three monitors working because my graphics card only supports three monitors via display port. But fully integrated and everything. Um, over here on the rack side, we have all my consoles with the new edition of the Super Nintendo. And also a switch box. Switch box deals with S video inputs, which are my GameCube and N64. Um, right now, it's only going into my PVM and uh, FrameMeister. But eventually, I'd like for it to run into a Dazzle for scenarios like Pokemon Stadium that switch display resolutions. Um, I also have the PS3 and PS4 wired into a HDMI splitter, which I use to strip HDCP. Um, and yeah, uh, this is a temporary thing. So, but all the, otherwise, all of it's wire managed onto the rack. Um, then I have a shelf here for all my games and sweet tea and chocobos and Paul McGrath. Um, so this is still a work in progress but this is simply version 2.0. One thing I would like to do would be to mount a scart head onto the side here so that I can simply just plug it in since I don't have a scart switch. Also I drilled heat ventilation holes for the PVM and also a uh, suggestion by Katie Lady was to get it so that the PVM would be at eye level which it is now instead of being all the way up there so we had to build a custom base out of 2x and 1x wood, painted it um, then I have some baskets here to put controllers and such, so they're not everywhere. And also, this monitor acts not only as a third computer monitor, but it's also a monitor for all my games. So you can see here, for example, I have the PlayStation 4, just like it is on the capture. But then with the frame meister, I can quickly switch to any other input like another HDMI like the PlayStation 3 or something like the GameCube. It's just as simple as like hitting another input on the remote. And then Something like this would also show up on the PVM normally if I had it set up. But then if we do something like the PlayStation 2, that of course will show up on all three displays at once. So as you can see, it's on the PVM, capture card, and main gaming monitor. So the idea is that no matter what you want to play, all you have to do is turn it on and press the right button on the remote and it's all ready to go. So there will be improvements made along the road. I'd also like to mount a component input on the side here for if I ever need to plug in like a PSP or a random component device, I'll be able to do that seamlessly. So that's it. Let me know if you have any suggestions or if you like it.